said, it's always good to make a grand final. Uh, what's pleased you most about your performances through the season so far? As a team. Um, probably just, I don't know, like how we're about able to just keep on going, because especially picking ourselves up after that first game against the Waratahs. Yeah, it was a pretty big loss for us, but I reckon it was good that we were able to pick ourselves back up and still make it to the grand final. And good cause for motivation for yeah, tomorrow, obviously. Yeah. Uh, what are the areas that you've really improved on since that game? Um, probably just our edge defence. Um, yeah, we went after that loss, yeah, we definitely did go back to the drawing board uh, this week and we've come up with a new plan that we think we should be able to get over the top of the Brumbies on oh, no, the Waratahs this week. And home final, mate, exciting to have friends yeah. come down. Um, no lack of motivation on yeah. you. Yeah, I guess that will probably be another little edge that we have over the Waratahs this week is that just we're at home and like we have all the fans, we have the whole of Queensland backing us this week, so it should be able to help us out. Uh, Zave, you got the better of the Brums last time. They'll be stinging. Mm. Um, I guess it's a very different side that you'd expect to face now. Yeah, very different. Um, as you said, uh, it's a grand final, so it's all to play for. Last game doesn't really matter much, so all focused on tomorrow now. Uh, blew the cobwebs out last week with a big win. Mm -hmm. um, what can you take away from a performance like that? I guess it is a bit of a step up uh, coming to the Brumbies. Yep, uh, we can take real confidence out of it. We know our structure works, and we just got to stick to that. And whatever the Brumbies throw at us, we know we can handle it. Are there any key threats? I know you know a few of the boys um, from that Brumbies set up. Any key areas that you really need to lock down to secure the win tomorrow? I feel just there's not one individual player, but their whole team. They've got a good structure going on. And so we just need to minimise minimize their threats, especially the outside backs. They've got some good outside backs. So, yeah. Um, Justice, first, can I get you to spell your full name, please? J-U-S-T-I-C-E-T-A-U-M-O-E-P-E-A-U. Justice, unbeaten season so far for your 16s. What can you put that down to? Look, we've had a, um, you know, pretty tough weeks worth of training throughout the season. Um, you know, just constantly rocking up, um, wanting to do a job every single weekend. Um, and, you know, it all comes down to effort, really. Um, effort on the field, effort off the field in our recovery and everything. Um, forming really tight bonds amongst the group. Um, that's what I'll put it down to. And you had a very good win over the Reds last time you faced them. Uh, the finals are a different beast. Uh, where do you think you need to be at your best uh, for this final? Yeah, definitely, you know, last time we played them, that doesn't mean anything tomorrow on Sunday. Um, we really just got to aim up. Be physical. That we know that they'll come out um, really emphasising, um, wanting to play through the middle. They're a really strong group throughout their forwards. Um, so yeah, we just have to front up in the middle um, to be able to give our backs some ball out on the edge. Yeah. Uh, Shane, you finished minor premiers, um, but a pretty tough hit out last time you faced the Reds. It must be getting a bit of revenge. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, do it here, so. Um, they came to Brum, so we'll, we'll go come here and try to get the job done. Uh, you've obviously finished on top of the table. Uh, what do you put that down to? What are the strengths that you've really been able to take advantage of this season? Uh, I think it's just coming down to boys' connections because we've got boys from everywhere. So connecting as a group and just worrying about ourselves instead of everything else that's happening. And you know a couple of the threats over at the Reds very well, a few mm -hmm. young 20s teammates. Uh, who do you need to keep an eye out on and what areas do you need to be really critical in? Uh, like I said just before, like we'll just be be ourselves tomorrow and just worry about what we can we can control. So yeah, it comes down to just us at the end of the day. Yes.